how did I get these rankings right here? You definitely don't want to miss this video because we actually have some results, right? So I actually did a med poster AI review about a month ago and I just to test it out, right? I did 10 articles. You can see them all right over here and you can actually see the rankings right over here and I can just go and grab one. For example, optimizing your online course website for conversions. We'll copy that and then we'll come over here to Google and we'll just paste it in real quick and then you'll be able to see right over here the number one ranking right here this is the snippet but the number one organic ranking is right here optimizing your course website for conversions david this is my account right here so i've already gone through the thing about using you can't really use like serp robot or rank trackers to track medium because it's going to track any medium article that so you actually kind of have to do it manually but that's okay so i went and did all the research and went and did all the rankings right over here. And if it's a top 10 ranking, I highlighted it in green. And then you can see right over here that we are, our average rank is page one for every single one of these keywords. Now, I don't think I researched them. I don't know if they're getting much searches and so forth. So we're gonna put it to a tier two test. So stick with me. We're gonna go do some keyword research. We're gonna put together a new campaign. I'll show you how this works. And now we're gonna start going after keywords they have easy difficulty levels in a keyword research tool and they have search volume, which is most important. And then we're going to see if we can actually start getting people, more people to read. We're not going to focus on the links in our articles or anything like that. I just want to see if we can build up rankings and traffic to our articles. And then we could start going and seeing which articles are performing the best and then go put in call to actions and so forth. I don't even want to put call to actions, no affiliate links, no nothing in here when you're building a new account, because I don't want any reason for medium to, you know, flag or account or do anything like that. But so far, what do you guys think below? Drop a comment. Is this impressive? I think this is extremely impressive. I can just go grab some more right here. Leveraging social media for course sales, right? And this is a very specific uh, topic that we're talking about. We'll go into Google right over here. And I've done this in the incognito uh, mode, so I'm not worried about um, that. You guys can go check these. We're ranked number one right here, leveraging social media for course sales right over here. And so this is basically like Parasite SEO, LinkedIn, Medium, and I think which other one? But LinkedIn and Medium are doing really, really, really well. Reddit is another one where you can go and do this. I've never really gotten into this, but this is pretty cool because we can use a tool like MedPoster AI right here, MedPoster AI. And if you click on the Get Started button, it's going to take you down to the pricing section down here and you can still get this at a lifetime deal. Now I got this for a lifetime deal. The link will be below to go and still pick this up. I don't know how long they're going to have the lifetime deal open. It's 197 and that's the price when they came to market a month ago, the, the pricing pricing has not changed. So that's really cool. But for 197 lifetime, you can generate 500 articles per month. You can create information articles. Uh, you get all this stuff. You can go $97 per year. So they don't change anything. They just change about the duration of your access. $17 a month will get you the same access that the yearly plan and the lifetime deal plan is. But I'm already showing you and proving to you that you can get results with this right now. So if you're going to go purchase this and you want to get the best deal, you may as well get the lifetime deal because you're going to never have to pay for it again. And you know, this is this is from Chris Derenberger. He developed this tool. So he created AI WiseMind, Questify, some other tools, but those are his softwares he's been working on over the last two years. They're really, really good AI tools. And he's a top marketer. So it's from a quality, quality software developer and internet marketer. He knows this stuff. So you have no, there shouldn't be any hesitation as far as the quality or the longevity that these tools will be along the side. So super cool. There's the pricing right there. Just thought I'd go over that real quick. But you can see we're ranking uh, right over here. And I just love this. I went and just checked all these real quick. And I'm just so impressed that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of the 10. So 70% of the articles that we wrote ended up on page one. We got two rank number one spots, top spots. And then we have a, a number three spot, a number six, and then another number three, another number three, and another number three. So one, two, three, four number three spots, four, five, six. So six of them, yeah, six of the 10 ranked in the top three. Now that is actually very impressive. So six out of 10 articles right there, six out of 10 articles ranked in the top 10. Super cool. So how do we do this guys? Actually, before I do that, I want to go over here and show you guys my inside the medium account. So you guys know that this is actually my account. So we're inside of your stories and you can see right over here, my account is there's a D right there and it's just David. 
is the account. I have another account, it's called LearnWire, but this one is specifically talking about like marketing, make money online and so forth. And so we can go over here, you can click on stories and then this will show you the 10 posts, right? And that's the 10 posts I'm showing you right here. And basically I went and grabbed these. And like I said, I would copy this and go check. And once I did a couple of them and I saw that I was ranking, I was like very impressed. I was like, okay, and, cause I haven't touched this tool. And now this gives me more reason to go and test it even further for you guys. And why you should maybe get on the bandwagon and jump on this trend right now while you can, right? And so I went ahead and just copied all these right over here. And then I went and uh, used ChatGPT to strip the, you know, strip all the other stuff out of it. And then I was left with just these. And that's when I went and pasted these and then went and looked them up. Okay. So this is, these are the stories you can go to published right over here. And then we're going to go up here and you can go and check stats right over here. And you can actually see this month we got eight views and we got three people that read our content right there. So Super cool. What I want to do is, you know, obviously we want to take this to a whole another level. You can go and look at audience stats. We haven't gotten any followers or anything. I probably should add an image to my profile and so forth, but this just shows you what you can do without even, you know, doing much, right? Without even lifting a finger. So you can come over here and you can actually look at the ones that got reads using email marketing to sell email. So you could actually grab some of these that are getting reads or getting the most views. And then you could actually copy that and then go and create more content around that topic as well. Like selling courses online, strategies for success. This one did really well. Selling courses online, that's a huge keyword that I'm probably not ranking for selling courses online. I'm probably not ranking for that. That's okay. I mean, that's going to be very competitive, right? Selling courses online. I really don't think we're going to be ranking for that, um, but that's okay. We still got the most views for this. So it is showing up somehow, some way. It still is getting some traffic. I'll go check just a couple pages just to see. But you're going to be competing with all the top tools in that space, right? Yeah, it's mostly just software, all the different course software. We're not ranked in the top 50 and that's okay. That's definitely expected, but still, you know, definitely getting traffic. Okay, so how do we do this? So I went over here and I went over to my favorite keyword research tool on a budget. It's only $50 a month and I've been paying for this for about a year now. And this is SE ranking, right? I'll leave a link below as well if you want to use this tool. It's just, it's very much like SEMrush and Ahrefs. Uh, I'm not going to say it's as good as them, but it's a, a, a close second to them. It's still a full-blown SEO uh, tool that f functions much, much like those other tools. And it has millions or even billions of keywords in its database. So you're getting a really good keyword research tool and so forth. And then it's half the cost and you get more, you can export more data and all these different things. And so that's why I like it. So I'll leave a link below if you want to go check it out. Uh, they have, it's very affordable. So what I did was I went and I just basically typed in marketing to start because I want to talk about marketing, but I want to get more specific, right? So we only looked at questions in the marketing keyword space. And then I put keyword difficulty at 30. Search volume has to be at least 10. Word counts are eight. So these are extremely long tail keywords that are actually getting search volume right over here. And then I included that it has to be marketing. Every single title is going to have marketing in it, right? So that's kind of how I did my filter. You can see all the different filters that I put in right there. And you can see it pulled in 1300 keywords. I downloaded the first 1000 keywords right there into an Excel file that I'll go and show you right now. So we have this right over here. This is These are all the keywords. And you can see that the search volume is almost 40,000, right? So if we do, even if we could get a trickle of that, even if we write all these and we could start getting 15 to 20,000 free visitors a month from Medium, that would be super cool. And then you would just continue campaigns, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and we're going to get a launch this uh, and get serious now. So if you can only do 500 posts per month, we're going to divide that by 30 days equals. So we could actually publish 16 posts per day. That's going to get you banned, right? So I really only want to do about three or four per day because I really don't want to. And you can add multiple accounts and that would probably be the best way to do this. I wouldn't go for 16 articles on one account per day. You're going to get your account completely flagged and, and shut down from. So I wouldn't do more than probably two or three. You want to really be careful with that. Even just one per day would be very safe Two, I just think that more than three a day is probably going to be too much, too high of a velocity. You be the judge. Leave a comment below if you agree with that. 
So I think that for now to be play it safe, we're going to step it up and we're going to do two posts per day, right? And so that's only going to take us, that's only going to use 60 of our 500, right? So if this starts working, we start getting more traction and so forth, then I would probably consider creating more medium accounts and doing some more work with it, okay? So what we're going to do is we just need right over here, I'm going to go ahead and just pull in, I don't know how many it will actually load, but let's go ahead and pull in. Uh, 200 right here. So I'm going to grab 200 keywords. I'm going to copy those keywords. I'm also going to highlight these and just show that those are the ones that I've already used. Then we're going to go back over here and we're going to go inside of med poster. So I'm going to go over here to med poster. We're logged in and we're going to go into create a campaign. I'm going to say that it's an information post. We're going to call it marketing and I'm going to throw these in right here. And actually, maybe I'll do marketing one because that campaign will probably do multiple campaigns once it runs out. I'm going to paste all these in right here. And I don't know how many we can do. It looks like I don't see the limit. We're going to go back over here and copy these. Somehow it didn't copy. So I'm going to go like that. And then we're going to try to paste those in. Okay, so we pasted those in. What is the role of marketing of a marketing department? I want to go and make sure that see if that actually is the last keyword in here. We're doing 200 keywords at a time. What is the role of the marketing department? So it easily took 200 uh, keywords right over here under keyword URLs. This is going to be a very important part because if you're doing my method, we're doing uh, long tail questions. So that is what we want to rank for, right? So then you're going to want to check mark this box, use keywords as title, because that's going to allow us to actually rank for the keyword and it's going to focus on that as the title as well. You could put some context in here. I didn't last time we ranked well. I'm going to leave it alone right there. And maybe right here I could tell it right in first person or something like that. I'm not sure, but I'm not going to add the disclosure. We're not doing Amazon links. We can add a video that might help with indexing as well. That's fine. And add images automatically search YouTube for related videos. That's totally fine. I'm going to uncheck all these and I only want to use stock images and then we can go ahead and do add the copyright if necessary. We'll go ahead and check mark that. No problem. And here's where you'll, you'll do your GPT model right here. So I'm going to go and select this and I am going to select the recommended right over here, the best model that they have. I can't wait till they add Claude. Hopefully they will add Claude because I would probably refer, I would prefer to use Claude because I think it's better at writing. And then we have a point of view we're going to go with first person right over here. Actually, you know what? We're going to leave it as second person. I'm going to leave it as second person because I'm not really writing these from first person perspective. And so I don't really want to do that. It's not based on any of my content or anything. So I almost don't feel comfortable with that. So let's go ahead and just leave it as second. You can go with friendly tone. I think that that's great. A conversational would be great as well, but let's just leave it at friendly. That's been working. And then I don't know about this AI persona. I don't know if I selected that last time or what, but we're just going to go with Curtis Sittenfield casual right there. These are, I, they're made up personas. Apparently, I don't know if these are real people. I, I, I've never heard of them. And so they're just made up personas. What you'd end up having to do is test one article at a time and test all these out. I wish that they had a little bit of a, you know, test sample and then a, like a pop up would come over here and we would actually be able to see what a sample from those AI models look like or AI personas. Then we could choose which one. But overall, from a, you know, a men's perspective and casual is what I'm going to go with. Add text, custom text in the articles. This is where you could do a call, call to action. I don't know if this will take links or not, but you could say, hey, for more marketing information, go here and you could put your website link right there. That would be really cool. We're not going to do that on this campaign because I want to not do anything with call to action or salesy. I just want to see if we can rank more articles. Okay. So total number of posts to create. We want this to be 200 because we already, we pasted 200. We want to create 200, but it is important that you could actually put just marketing up there and then you can actually tell it to create a hundred articles and it's going to go out there and create a hundred marketing articles. The system will do that for you, but we're being very, very targeted on this campaign. So I want it to match the amount of keywords we have publish on a schedule is what we want to do. And right here, I want to go with two articles every day right here. So this is going to um, go, this will actually end up being a hundred days in a hundred days from now, we will have 200 posts posted. Does that make sense? And then we can go ahead and this check marks, check box right here, post to medium, very important because it's going to go and post to our account right there medium post static status, and you could put this as draft or unlisted, but we're going to go and go with public and then auto generate tags. Yes. 
And then right over here, final, we're gonna push create. It's gonna go out there and create this campaign for us, marketing one, it's informational, active, and it's going to go out there and start um, attacking these keywords. And we're gonna go out there and let's see what ends up happening in 30 days. We'll come back, I'll update you guys on this. But you know, when you're getting, I mean, look at, we have eight views and these weren't even targeted. These, they're not even getting a lot of searches. We got people actually reading our content right here. And we actually went out there and got six out of 10 articles ranking top 10 right over here. Very, very impressive. Even got some number one spots right over here and our average, ranking right now with the 10 articles is on page one. These three right over here really kind of push this average down. But I mean, if you took just these right here and if we took equals, just wanted to do this really easy for you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna um, highlight that right there. And then I'll come over here and we'll look at the average is uh, 2.85. So almost an average ranking of two with these six articles. Very, very impressive. We'll come back. This, I don't know, I'll probably have my VA go and check rankings on this for the 200 keywords because that's gonna take some time to actually look at that. And then we'll come back and I'll update you guys. So the links will be below to the keyword research tool, SE ranking, and to MedPoster, which is still available even at a lifetime discount. The pricing hasn't changed or anything. This is the time to jump in on this just so you can go out there. And this is another method to where you can actually rank on Google right now because right now they're favoring Medium, they're favoring LinkedIn, they're favoring Reddit, they're favoring these sites for better or worse, right? They're, they're, this is the way to go right now. And so super cool stuff. I'm impressed that these ranked. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Go pick up these tools. I will see you in the, uh, actually, and make sure to subscribe because I will give you guys updates on this project and I'll see you in the next video.